Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got two more games in White Sox season for you. Just two today. Uh, so that's against uh, the Seattle Mariners. We are actually going to Seattle. So we will uh, get that game, those games underway. <clears throat> you can see right here, we've got Dallas Keuchel going up against Justice. Sheffield. So we will uh, get that game underway after the scores roll in. And we will, uh, let's see. Yes, he will be the computer. I will be the human. We are going to go with pretty much the lineup that the computer wants, at least in game one. I can go with that. So, um, and yeah, we got Gorky Hernandez playing in right field. So we will turn down the sound. We'll get this. Uh, we'll get this thing underway here. And we got uh, Timmy Anderson striking out to Sheffield. Lewis Robert will swing away, and he's going to hit a double. So we got a man on second. One out, top of the first of game one here against Seattle. And Moncada is up. And these games, by the way, I want to let you know, these are, these are the next two games after that debacle that we just had against Cleveland where we lost three straight games to that. And that's going to be the last out of the inning for Inter Arcion. So we came away with nothing despite a Lewis Robert double. And now we are pitching to Shed Long, and we strike out Shed Long. And he goes back to the shed. Uh, D. Gordon is up, and he is going to ground out. And that brings up Hanniger, Mitch Hanniger, and he is going to fly out. I hope. Yeah, I guess they were saying that as well. And so this is the real look at what it is, and that was a fly out. So now we got a Brave leading off in the top of the second. And he is going to fly out. Seattle, that is a big, it's a big place, man. It's a big place. It's hard to hit a home run there. So Grand Doll is up. And he's going to walk. So he's aboard. Jimenez is up and he singles. Um, we are not going to do that. No, we're not going to send the runner. So Luri Garcia, and he's going to get a catcher card X. And that is not in time. Okay, that was a fielder's choice. And now we got Gorky's up. And he is going to line out for the last out of the inning. So we go to the bottom of the second. And uh, Seeger is up. He hits the ball over to Moncada. Doesn't look good. But he is out. Moncada makes the play. And Tom Murphy's up. He's going to hit the ground ball right at Timmy A, TA7. But that's a single. That brings up Dan Vogelbach with Murphy aboard, and he strikes out. So Keiko pitching well for us here. The crafty lefty. And then there's a ground ball to a Bray, which he will hopefully play. And he does. That brings up Timmy A, top of the order, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second. That's Shed Long. He's a four at second, and he does not make the play. So Timmy A is aboard with Luis Robert up, and he's going to double. Again. So he's two for two with two doubles. You can't really fault him for that. I'm going to send Timmy A because we really are not scoring much here. So we, we take a one nothing lead on that. Moncada up and he hits a single. 
Robert may be able to score on that, and he does. So Encarnacion is going to walk. Now we got two aboard, no outs. Now we're really we're to putting an offensive barrage up here against uh, Sheffield. That's going to be a line out though to the outfield. So there's one down in the grand doll aboard or up at the plate with two on, and he walks again. So he's been up to the plate twice and walked twice. Jimenez is up and. That might be a wild pitch, and it is. So another run comes in. We take a 3 nothing lead here. And that's going to be a ground ball to the short. But no, it isn't because the infield was in, I guess. So Sheffield is tired. And they do replace him with uh, Mike Wright. And then that brings up Lurie Garcia, who's going to hit the ball to the left. Where Lopes is, and uh, he makes the catch, though, and then that brings up Gorky's, and Gorky strikes out. So, we got a 5 nothing lead, is what we're taking at the bottom of the third, and uh, Malik Smith hits the ball back to Keuchel, and throws him out. Lopes is up, and he walks. That brings up Shed Long. Shed Long walks. Now there's two on with only one out. And that's going to be a jack right there by uh, D. Gordon. D. Gordon hitting a home run in Safeco? Doesn't seem possible, does it? All right. Well, anyway, they cut the uh, lead to two, and so now it's 5-3. It's going to be a fly out for Hanniger, so that's two down. And then that brings up Kyle Seeger, and he strikes out. Tim Anderson coming up top of the fourth. We have two run lead, and Tim Anderson is going to see. And he will not try to steal with Lewis Robert Upper, who has two doubles on the day, and now he lines out for his first out of the day. That brings up Mancata. Mancata is going to hit a single. Let's see if Anderson goes an extra base. He doesn't. So Encarnacion is up at the plate and he strikes out. Which brings us to a brave. And that's going to be a pass ball. So now we got runners at second and third, two down, and a brave up. And Wright is going to walk him and pitch to Grandall. And Grandall strikes out. So that's where we are. We still have that two-run lead going to the bottom of the fourth. And Tom Murphy up at the plate, their catcher, and he singles. Uh, Vogelbach is up. The ever dangerous Vogelbach, and he hits the ground ball at Tim Anderson. And he makes the double play, which is nice. So we got White up. I don't even know. Oh, Evan and White, yeah. Their rookie first baseman. And he's out. So Jimenez comes up, and he comes in to this at bat, two for two, and we're going to let him swing away. And he's hit by a pitch. So he's aboard, which brings up Lurie Garcia, who is now uh, facing Austin Adams, who is on to pitch now for Seattle. Gorky's is up, and Gorky strikes out. And that brings up T.A., and T.A. strikes out. So... Mike Smith, or no, um, Malik Smith, and he is out. Fly out from Malik Smith to Gorky's Hernandez. Lopes is going to be hit by pitch and possibly injured and out of the game. Let's see. Yes, he's out for 15 days, although, you know, we only really care for this game and the next. 
So they bring in Dylan Moore to pinch run for him and shed long up, hitting a ground ball to Tim Anderson. And he is out. And it's a double play. So we're out of the inning. Lewis Robert coming up top of the sixth. And he's going to ground out. Johan Mancata is striking out. Two down. And uh, that's going to bring up N. Canarcio. And he lines out. D. Gordon's up at the plate, and he singles. So he can steal, so let's see what we got here. Although we do have a negative six hold with Keuchel, so I doubt he's going anywhere. Hanniger's up, and Hanniger's going to hit a fly ball to Robert. Seeger up, and he strikes out. So there's two down. Here in the sixth, it's getting late for Seattle, and Tom Murphy is up, and he is going to hit a ground or a fly ball to Sullivan. And Robert will play that, and we're out of the inning. So we go to the top of the seventh. Getting late in the game now, but we still have the two-run lead. And we have Abreu getting out. Grandall up. Swinging away, and he's going to hit a fly ball to center. But that's Malik Smith, who's a four. But he makes the catch. And now we have the two for two on the day, Jimenez, and he strikes out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Dan Vogel back up. And he jacks it. Dan Vogel, the ever dangerous. Did I not say that about him earlier? The ever dangerous for Dan Vogelbach has made the score 5-4. And Devin White is up, and he's going to ground out. That brings up Malik Smith, and he's going to strike out. And that brings up Dylan Moore, and Dylan Moore will fly out. And that may be all for Keigel, especially if they say he's tired right now. But they didn't, so I don't know. But I probably will take him out. Garcia is out. Gorky's is walking. And now they have McGill on the pitch. They're closer. Timmy Anderson's up and he strikes out. Two down. And Lewis Robert. They're serious about keeping this game close, but that's going to be a jack by Lewis Robert. So they. Uh, the McGill plan didn't really work. And now they're going to, we're going to send up Moncada, who walks. And now we have a seven to, uh, seven to four lead. And N. Canarcion up. They're going to bring McGill out of the game and bring in Swanson. And he hits a ground ball into an out to end the inning. So uh, I'm going to go get somebody else to pitch. And that somebody else is going to be, you know, let's bring in Ben Walos because I'm telling you, this guy, bad card, but every time I bring him in the pitch, he pitches great. Although Shed Long just took him out behind the woodshed and hit a double off of him. But we got a three-run lead, so, you know, playing with house money a little bit here. Strike out to B. Gordon, though. Mitch Hanniger up. Mitch Hanniger hits a jack. So Ben Walos trying to give the game back. He's saying, hey, we don't really need to win, but we do. Seeger is up, and Seeger walks. You know, you got to ask, you're probably out there asking yourself, how long am I going to stick with Ben Walos? Well, it's going to be a little longer. There's a ground ball to second, and that's Lurie, and hopefully he makes the play. 
but he doesn't. And now Vogelbach is up. And Vogelbach walks. You know what? I'm playing it on the edge here. We're going to pitch to Evan White. And he walks. Tie game. All right, I am going to go get... Uh, I'm going to go get Ben Wailos. That was a bad idea. It was just a totally bad idea. We're going to bring in Herrera. And he strikes out. So there's two down, but we're now in a tie game. At 7 all. And Dylan Moore walks to force in the winning to go ahead run. Maybe not winning. But, but it could be. And then Shed Long. And that was a uh, uh, wild pitch or whatever. So 5, 6. Nine, nine to seven. Hey, what happened? So Abreu is up, and Benuelos had one of his worst outings, and we're going to lose this game. So we're going to lose, like, our fourth game straight. Maybe because of my managing. Okay, maybe. But uh, Jimenez gets out, and so, yeah, we lose. Had this game in the bag. Game over. But didn't work out that way, so. So we lose to the Mariners 9-7. Let's move right into the next game. Kind of reminds me of the start of my uh, my June with my one of my teams in my uh, in one of my stratomatic competitive stratomatic leagues. We started off June zero and six, so and here we are at zero and four right now for the last four games we've played. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go with that lineup. Giolito pitching for us. <clears throat> You would hope that Giolito, our ace, will help us win this game. That's going to be a ground ball to third base. And that's going to be Seager. They're going to do the X chart for Seager, and he's out. Lewis Roberts up. And he hits a ground ball to short. And Moncada is going to swing away. And he hits a ground ball to third base. And he's safe. So Encarnacion has a chance to drive him in with a homer, but he instead pops out. He opts to take the road less travel. And pops out. Shed Long is up and striking out. E. Gordon. Striking out. And Mitch Haniger. And Haniger walks. That brings up Seeger. And Seeger hits a fly ball to center, but we got Engel out in center, so he's going to make the play, I would think. And he does. So Abreu is up and he's swinging away and he singles. So they've got, uh, they got Gonzalez pitching for them. They're Gonzalez. Randall up and he pops out. So there's one down for us here in the second of a scoreless game. Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to hit a two-run homer. Give us a 2 nothing lead. And that brings up Blu-ray Garcia. And he hits the ball at third at Seager. And he's out. And that brings up Adam Engel. My main man, Adam Engel, strikes out. 
But we did score two runs there, and now Tom Murphy in the bottom of the inning is going to hit a ground ball to shortstop. That's going to be an out. Vogel bang is up, and he is going to ground out to second. And that brings up uh, Danny Santana, who is going to sink. Evan White. And he is out. So we got to go to the top of the third with Tim Anderson, the top of our order, and he singles right up the middle. Lewis Robert up, and there's a catcher card. But he is out. So Moncada's up. And Moncada with a single right up the middle. We got two on, one out. Encarnacion up. And he flies out. And Abreu is up. And Abreu singles and could not get a run. Of course, we had a 5 nothing lead last game. Yes, that's the third run for us. Grandall up and striking out. And that ends the inning. Watching a little bit today about the uh, baseball negotiations. The latest... Uh, Proposal by the owners was um, not received well by the players. Um, they wanted to, uh, their counter proposal was to say prorated salaries for the players and then 75% of the prorated salary and only 76 games. And the uh, players. So we are still at an impasse in the real baseball negotiations. And uh, here comes uh, Jimenez. So I'm still wondering whether we're going to have baseball. I'm kind of hoping we do. But I think even if we don't, it would be kind of interesting to see what would happen with no baseball. I mean, Garcia singling there. And Adam Engel up. Adam Engel striking out, so there's two down. But if there was no baseball, you know, what would Strat do next year? What would all the Strat leagues do next year is more important question. I mean, Strat, they could just, uh, you know, Anderson gets us out of the inning with a, with a ground ball. I mean, uh, Strat could just say, well, we're just going to issue our usual, you know, team from the or league from the past. In fact, they could say we're going to do two leagues from the past this year two seasons from the past this year because there's no, you know, 2020. But leagues like the ones that I'm in, the competitive leagues, what are they going to do? You know, because um, we got Robert leading off here, I believe in the top of the, yeah, top of the fifth with our still our three nothing lead. Because what are you going to do if, if like all these leagues are based on year after year after year in um, chronological order and <coughs> excuse me and you know draft picks and everything based on that so and Canarcion is up with two down so what happens when you, that's what your whole league is based on you know I I wouldn't be a bit surprised if some of those leagues would say, just like real baseball, they would say, we're off for this season. There's no season for us. Because what are you going to do? Uh, Danny Santana's up, and he is going to fly out. So this game, I mean, as expected, Giolito is shutting everybody down, and so Evan White is going to fly out. Um, so our ace is... Hopefully going to stop our lo our four-game losing streak. Our, is it only four? I believe it's four, but we'll see. Abreu pops out. And that is going to be the first out of the sixth inning. Up steps Grandall, and he's swinging away. 
And he's going to hit the ground ball at Seer. And he's out. And then that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez is what? And he's out. So Malik Smith is leading off for Seattle in the bottom of the sixth, where we have a 3 nothing lead. Giolito dealing, but Smith gets a single. So, you know, if you want to share your comments about my poor managing or um, the, uh, or the you know, the state of baseball and the baseball negotiations and Shed Long just docked in Smith, or no, he didn't. No, it's runners at the corners with no outs, though. So Gordon up, and he walks to load the bases, and now our our ace is self-destructing on us, and he's tired. But I'm going to leave him out there because I do that all the time, and he strikes out Hanner, so he's one down. We still got a 3 nothing lead because they didn't score on that single earlier, which I thought they were going to do. That brings up Seeger, and Seeger hits that double one to three, that pesky double one to three single double asterisk. Wait, no, wow, they only knocked in one run. I was going to take him out, but I'll keep him in there. All right, now I'm going to take him out. All right, so let's go get him. Uh, let's see. The problem here is we don't really have a good bullpen. I mean, we just don't. I'll bring in uh, Cord. Um, Cordero, yeah. He'll pitch to Vogelbach, and he hits the ball at third. We also don't have a good defense. And that was a base hit, case in point. So now they took the lead. They're Now they're leading again, 4-3. to three. But finally Santana strikes it out, but now we're going to need another run to get back into the game. Oh, wait a minute. That was only two outs. And now that's a line out, and that is the third out. So, but now they got a 4 3 lead. Man, if we lose five in a row, I don't know. I mean, this is this is uh, trouble. I would not have expected this. We were cruising. I mean, we were absolutely cruising until we hit Cleveland this last time. Strikeout for Engel. There's two down. And it doesn't help that we have Mazzara injured. And now Tim Anderson's up, and he is out. So that's it for the seventh. And Malik Smith is up against Cordero, who has to hold this game right exactly where it is if we're going to have a chance of snapping our four-game losing streak and not making it a five-game losing streak. Shed Long walks. D. Gordon's up, and he's out. We picked him off. And then that's going to be a walk for Gordon. We'll let him go if he wants to. We're just going to hold on to the ball. Because really, once you've got two outs, you just need to get the guy at the plate. And then that's an out. So we go to the top of the eighth. Lewis Robert up. And he is going to hit a single. Nice. We needed that. Brings up Mancata. Mancata pops out. And Canarcion is going to line out. And that brings up a break. And Abreu is going to be out. Could have been a home run and put us ahead, but it didn't. That didn't happen. So Marco Gonzalez is finally tired, and uh, pitching to Seager is Cordero, who's going over and above the call of duty here because he has to because I have a terrible bullpen and a bad defense. And uh, ground ball to third base to uh, Tom Murphy. And Vogelbach up with two down, and he's out. So now it's up to us to get one run right here or game over. 
grand doll up and I will swim away with him. And he'll be out. Brings up Jimenez. Definitely going to swing away with him. And he strikes out. That brings up Lurie Garcia. And we are going to be out. And that is it. We've lost five straight games. Unbelievable. So let's see what that means for us in the standings, because that can't be good either. So let's see. League stats. And yeah, we're not even in second place anymore. We've lost our place in second. We're five games back of the Twins and a half a game now behind Cleveland. So, and we're 40 and, what does that say? 40 and 33. Now, not that a real-life record of 40 and 33 after 73 games for the White Sox normally, based on their recent history, would be a bad thing. But compared to how we were playing before, and of course the injury to Mar Mazzara doesn't help that, injuries that we've suffered don't help that, but I think every team has to deal with that. So anyway, there it is. We lost two. We dropped two to Seattle. And uh, that's going to be it for me. Until next time, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.